Good morning, Facebook. This is an odd morning for the fist pump guy to be on Facebook Live, so I need you to come on in and join me. Uh, it's for a great cause today, and I'm happy to be part of this cause that's going on across the automotive industry. So please come in and join me. Good morning, Mike. Uh, Y'all come on in and join me. Hey, sweetheart, uh, welcome aboard. Uh, Jared, I appreciate you guys coming in and uh, and joining us this morning. Uh, any of my friends, family, whatever you come in, like, share, comment, whatever the case may be, you will not be disappointed this morning on this Facebook Live with the fist pump guy. Wasn't you, sweet? It wasn't you, Mike. I wasn't calling you, sweetheart. My wife was on here, so <laughs> my bad. But you, you know, you're pretty sweet yourself. <laughs> Good morning, uh, Bermans. I appreciate you guys coming in. Uh, Miss Teresa, y'all come on in. And um, you know, if you read my description, you had a chance to read my description. For those of you that don't know, uh, we're doing something special um, in the automotive industry. And if you read my blog post last night, uh, if you had a chance to, it got read quite a bit. And there's an awful stigma about the car business, about um, you know how crooked and you know um, crooked we are, and all this kind of stuff. And and I thought it was amazing that uh, this situation, uh, good morning Lisa, uh, has come come about because this gives us an opportunity in the automotive industry. To give back okay to give back and to show people who we truly are and that we truly care about others okay so good morning Melvin so as you come in um, I'm gonna go ahead and pray and then I'm gonna get started and let you know what's going on and then uh, we'll go from there Heavenly Father thank you for this blessed morning thank you for awaking me this morning Lord to uh, be able to be alive on your on the Lord's day Lord, that we can come together as a community and to uh, pray and and uh, do these lives, Lord, that may help somebody in need. And uh, Lord, you know who it is, and we will discuss that this morning, Lord. So give me the words uh, to say and the words to pray, Lord, that will um, reach the people it needs to reach. I love you and I praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, Glenn. Manny, y'all come on in. I appreciate you guys. And uh, y'all know I hadn't done a live in a couple of days, so I was a little bit more nervous today than I typically was. Um, this morning is very special for me and many of us in the automotive industry because, like I said, we get to come together and do something that, as far as I know, hasn't been done. And uh, um, doing a, uh, if, you, if you were young like I was at one point in time, there used to be telethons where you had the people in the background answering phones and, you know, uh, donating money and all this other stuff. Good morning, John. Well, we're doing something similar to that. We're doing a Facebook Live-a-thon, okay? And it's to help out some dear friends of ours in the automotive industry, um, Michelle Shree and Chad Morgan uh, and their family. Um, short story, uh, social media has been a part of my life for a few years now. I've been doing a, a, a few videos. I've been doing videos for going on three and a half years now. I come across Sean Hayes over the past year or so, um, and they've, he's become a good friend of mine along with some other people um, that's uh, on here as well. Um, but through, through that friendship, uh, I, I've been able to come in contact with Chad Morgan and Michelle. Um, I did put her name in the uh, um, description too, so you'll know uh, who I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, face a thought. Um, but um, we've become friends. I've had a chance to meet, meet the both of them on a number of occasions, uh, uh, over this past year. I mean, this past year has flown by and I've gone to about, I think three live events where I've been able to meet them. And, uh, you know, both super nice, genuine people. And I am proud and happy to call them my friends. I have yet to see them change in demeanor, no matter what's in their life. Okay. And that includes now. Okay. So, I'm, I'm a very emotional, passionate person, uh, especially when it comes to the Word of God. But I'm also passionate when it comes to helping and serving people. Good morning, Dave Benson. Appreciate you uh, tuning in. Um, so in, in, um, in honor of Michelle, uh, which we're talking about today, my wife made some Team Michelle shirts, uh, or made one particular for me to wear today, and I'm drinking out of her Wonder Woman cup. 
so that's an honor of you, Michelle. Um, you, you, you're a strong woman, and um, you know I'm, I'm hoping the best for you, and, that, and we're praying for you. So today, what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, raise some awareness for her and her family. Uh, they live in the extreme northwest. Um, they are both self-employed. Uh, they pretty much. Uh, um, they own a, uh, Chad Morgan created this app called Quick Page. It's an app that many of us in the business use, uh, in the car business use, and other, under other industries to email or text video to customers or clients, uh, friends, whatever, that uh, will help and compress the videos for you so you don't have to worry about the video being blurry whenever the recipient gets it. Oftentimes, if it's not iPhone to iPhone or something like that, you can't hardly see the video, especially if it's too long, because on certain videos, you can't send for too long. Well, this is not necessarily a, a plug, but I just want to let you know who they are. And uh, having said that, they are self-employed, okay? So when you're self-employed, you either have one or two options. Either you don't have insurance, um, you don't have insurance, or you have an insurance that um, is, is high, or the deductibles are ridiculous. Okay, my wife is a nurse, and, and she could tell you that that some of this, some of these insurance issues are uh, uh, really difficult to overcome because sometimes the uh, the deductibles and sometimes the cost is very hard. So, having said that, recently Michelle and Chad found out that she has stage three breast cancer. Okay, so she went, she felt a lump, she goes and gets it checked out. Uh, they do the mammogram, this, that, and the other, and it could be one of two things they say, cyst or cancer, because you know in those instances you need to definitely have a, um, a biopsy done in order to make sure of what it is, because you definitely don't want to diagnose something exactly, you need to know what it is, because if it's cancer, it's one thing, if it's a cyst, it's another. So, I'm not a medical doctor, my wife is a nurse, she could tell you about all this stuff, but um, I know that stage three is, is on up there, um, and it's, it's apparently an aggressive state. If you want to know more about Michelle, you can go to her Facebook page. It's in my description, and she's, she's keeping a chronicle, a, um, a, a chronicle of what's going on and, and keep track because they are very video-minded people, um, which I've become myself, but they're very video-minded. They, they don't mind putting themselves out there, letting know what's going on, and this is something that she's doing not only just to bring awareness to herself and her family, but to bring awareness to others that may be suffering through things, okay? Because cancer is no joke. I don't even really like to think about that. I've never had to deal with cancer uh, that I can think of in my, in my life with my family. I've had some of my relatives die of other things. My grandparents died quite a few years ago of, of various things, but it wasn't cancer, okay? But I will tell you that, that Chad and, and uh, Michelle are very strong people, but Having said that, no matter how strong you are, sometimes you need help, okay? Sometimes you need help, um, and someday you may need help. So what I'm asking for you to do today, if you shared this video, if you're one of my friends, in the comments, uh, www.fightwithmichelle.com, uh, donate and pray, okay? Because prayer, prayer is very important. Uh, the scriptures tell us about prayer. They, it repetitively speaks about prayer. Jesus himself prayed to the Father. Uh, um, so having said that, most of you know um, that I love the Lord. I'm, I'm a uh, saved uh, believer in Jesus Christ, have been since August 2011. The only thing I know, I don't know medical terms. I don't know doctors. I don't know any of that stuff. I know scripture. Okay, so what I'm going to read is some scripture this morning. I hope y'all are okay with that um, because I know there may be some believers, maybe not some believers in here, but my hope and my prayer for this is that God's glory be shown through all this, whether it's the coming together uh, for, for, the, 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 for Michelle, whether it's healing in her body, whether it's somebody being rescued and saved from their sin in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to read a, a couple of verses real quick if y'all are okay with that. James 1, uh, James chapter 1, verse 2, it's a very uh, strong uh, thing, so I'm going to kind of go through this. i got about 20 minutes left, and I'm much of a talker, so I try to get through this stuff. Hold on one second. Uh, that's for you, Michelle. Um, yeah, exactly, Jeff. I hope, I'm glad you put that in there. 
James 1, verse 2, Consider it all joy, my brethren, when, it, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its perfect results, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all generously and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But we must ask in faith without any doubting, for the one who doubts is like the surf of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. Okay, so this is primarily written to believers uh, saying that sometimes, okay, sometimes in life we're going to encounter various things, various trials. And we have to understand that the trials that are in our lives, the, the disease and, and the um, um, heartaches and all the things that we go through are things that have been, and I'll read it in a minute, have been brought about by the um, by original sin in the Garden of Eden. Okay, so all these things that we suffer with now are part of life. It has been since the Garden of Eden, and those that you know don't know that. That's why I'm telling you because oftentimes we try to you know call disease and things different names and and blame it on different people. But at the end of the day, it's a result of humanity's sin against God in the Garden of Eden. Okay. So right here he's talking about consider it joy. Now how do you consider how do you consider disease? How do you consider uh, heartache or trials in your life? How do you consider that joy? How do you, it's it's hard to it's hard to really imagine what James is saying here. And James of course is uh, was Jesus' half brother. But how do you consider it joy when you're going through some turmoil in your life? When you're going through a death or, or disease like what Michelle's going through? Um, it's it's difficult. It's difficult. But that's where the faith in the Lord comes in okay no, no secret that i've been going through a couple things this week but nothing in comparison to what michelle's going through which is why i haven't tried to make a big deal about it but at the end of the day you have to consider it joy that you're that you've been um held worthy by god to allow you to go through these things now what does that do a lot of times it brings about faith it brings about stronger faith. It brings about, it maybe uh, humbles you to, to get you to the point to where you put your faith in the Lord uh, for your salvation. There's a lot of, there's a lot of reasons. We, try, we, we often question God, why does this happen? Well, we don't know his will, okay? Um, but right here it says you have to ask in faith, and that's what we're doing. That's what I do as a believer. I ask in faith uh, without doubting uh, for the Lord to have his will done because if you go back to 1 John, verse uh, chapter 5 verse 14 um, this is the confidence that we believers have before him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us okay so much like what Jesus prayed in the in the garden of Gethsemane uh, and that he taught the disciples to pray he, he prayed for God's will to be done okay whatever that will is to be done why does he say that? Jesus is, is was praying to the Father in Gethsemane. If this cup, if, if this cup can be taken from me, please take it. But otherwise, let your will be done. He said that three times. Well, the will that he's talking about is for his his glory, for God's glory. Everything is for God's glory. Okay, so that's something we have to understand: is that no matter what we do in life, and this is how I pray every day. I pray for God's glory to be shown in my life every single day. Okay, how does he do that? Well, he d he does it through various means. Um it could be healing, it could be um uh, it could be redemption, it could be um salvation or you know, uh, with redemption, it could be uh, various things, but at the end of the day, we have to look at it for his glory. And this is why I'm bringing that up is because I want you to understand that this is a tough time that they're going through. Um they've got uh, she's got three boys. Um, I believe they're all teenagers, um, or at least two of them are for sure. Um, but they, they're good people, and they're people that I respect and admire. Uh, and most of you probably don't know them uh, that will be my friends on here. Hey, Marshall, how you doing, buddy? Um, appreciate you coming on. You, most of y'all may not know them personally, but you know me well enough to know that I have a pretty good judge of character. I have a pretty good judge of, of uh, how people truly are and things like that. And you know me enough to trust me to ask you for money, okay, to ask you for prayer. Um, that's not something I do on a regular basis um, because it's difficult to, to, to distinguish 
who's legit and who's not. And I understand that as, a, as somebody that follows me on Facebook or some of my social media outlets. Um, I don't have as many friends and stuff as some of these other people. But what I'm asking is the ones that I do have. Uh, that uh, I know there's a couple friends of mine that have to have dealt with cancer before in the past prior to the big social media craze. And I'm, I'm hoping that maybe you'll reach out and maybe uh, uh, reach out to her uh, via Facebook, maybe Messenger or something, and just give her some words of encouragement, maybe some things that helps you overcome. Um, I know Tracy, uh, Tracy Jones is on, I don't know if she's on here right now, but she was a friend of mine that uh, had to endure that. Um, so if, you, if you're on here and you hear me, if you can't donate, I understand that. Any amount's okay. Any amount's okay, $5, $1. If all my friends uh, gave at least $1, that'd be about $1,600, okay? And that's what I'm talking about. It could be $5. So it seems so. It seems like a big um, task to do, but if even it's a dollar or $5, you have to understand that with quantity, it, it becomes something real. It becomes something important. And no, no money will go unappreciated. I can assure you of that. So it's of a dollar, at five dollars, ten dollars, fifty dollars, hundred dollars. We're trying to raise money. It started off at uh, ten thousand, I believe, but we've already surpassed that. So now I think they're going for fifty thousand to help this family in need, to help pay for some of these medical expenses and things of that nature. So, so anything you can give, okay? If you're financially strapped, you know what? Cut out McDonald's for a day or two, because I know I've seen some of you guys in some of these fast food restaurants. I've seen y'all out. Uh, buying uh, buying cigarettes and dip and all this other stuff. All that stuff's expensive. Red Bulls, $3 a can. Dip, 5 or $6 a can. Pack of cigarettes, it's like $30 a pack now. Um, whatever it is, give that up for one day or two days or three days just to be able to give back. I don't, you know, even if it's not for this, but for some cause. Because I think oftentimes we think about ourselves and we don't necessarily think about everybody else. And I've tried to do, this past year, I've tried to do a better job of that myself. Um, but that's what I'm asking. I'm asking for you to help out and I'm going to read some more scripture now while y'all are, uh, donating. Appreciate you. All right. Matthew six, do not worry then saying, what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear for clothing for the Gentiles eagerly, eagerly seek for all these things for your heavenly father knows what you need. Um, knows that you need all these things, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all things will be added to you. Okay. Um, and he talks about the birds of the air not having to reap. They, they get the, their, the father feeds them uh, and the lilies of the field toil. Um, in other words, his providence is in control of everything. Okay. Regardless if you're a believer or not, there's, 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 a, there's a sense that there's somebody there that's controlling all these things. Okay. Good morning, Scott. I, I watched yours this morning. That was very powerful, man. I appreciate you. So if you come on here and you're one of my friends, even if you watch this later, I'm just asking, share it, like it comment, whatever the case may be, www, I can't even talk this morning, www.fightwithmichelle.com, uh, donate, share that feed, go to her page, watch her story because she's diagramming this, okay, I love them dearly, they've become good friends of mine, and most of this, this, this proves the power of social media, a lot of these guys that's on here I've never met, but Michelle and, and Chad I have, and there's a lot of these people that are genuine people in the car business, okay? And I want you to understand that is because oftentimes we're looked upon as, you know, crooks or whatever. And there's some genuine people in this business that's actually trying to do something good in the industry, okay? So this is something good that we're trying to do as a whole. I think there's 48 people that's doing this 30 minute segment lives uh, for 24 hours. Uh, it's pretty impressive, and I know I know by the time I got up this morning they had close to 10,000 already, so they had to bump up the uh, thing. I couldn't hardly sleep last night because I was trying to figure out what I was going to say, but I knew that if I relied on Scripture to get me through, that I would do two things. I would I would definitely get her help, and I would definitely reach somebody that needs this this morning. Okay. Now, as I said, disease is something that's, that's not pleasant. Okay. It's not pleasant. Um, we all deal with something, uh, for the most part, um, the troubles that we go through in life. And, you know, James says, consider it all joy. It's very difficult to understand that. And, but you have to understand who's in control. Okay. Um, God's providence is in control of everything. Okay. Everything that we encounter every single day, there's some, some form of his will being done. Okay. So he uses certain people. He uses certain things 
in order to accomplish his glory. Okay. Everything in life is for his glory. Okay. Heaven, hell, all that's for his glory. Salvation, redemption, judgment, all that's for his glory and points to his glory. So what I'm asking is for God's glory to be shown through this, through this situation, uh, through this opportunity uh, with Michelle and Chad. And that can be seen through healing in her body, if that be his will. Uh, maybe strength, maybe salvation for some. Also for the giving that you're giving, that you're giving out of your heart, whatever you feel like your heart's wanting to give, give it. No amount's too small. Uh, of course, no amount's too big, but no amount's too small. No no amount is insignificant. Hey, Miss Deborah, what's up, Billy Sherm? Appreciate you tuning in, my friend. Um, and, you know, this is something that uh, has been on a couple of our hearts for a couple of days now. I know it was really on my mind yesterday, and uh, I've been thinking about them a lot. I don't know if they've, they're on here now. I don't know if they're, uh, uh, they're probably sleeping because they probably had a couple of days with no sleep. Um, but I think a lot of them, and uh, I appreciate everybody coming on here and and, and uh, joining. I know it's a tough situation um, that uh, we're that they're in, and I've never had to experience it once again. Uh, what's up, Joel? AJ? Um, I know Lisa Copeland's on next, so if if you see hers, uh, she's a very powerful woman in the industry, a uh, very great speaker. Um, she uh, appreciate that, Miss Deborah. She is uh, on next after me, so Lisa uh, Copeland. I can't, um, I can't remember her middle name, but it's in my, it's in my description. But check her out because she's going to be, uh, uh, she's going to be on next after me, um, not on my page, but on her own page. Uh, okay, so right now, Ken just said we're over twelve thousand so far. The goal is fifty thousand now. So anything will help. Like I said, if all my friends, half my friends, whatever the case may be, gave a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you can spare, whatever, whatever it is you can multiply that okay so we're talking about 15 1600 people some of these guys have four and five thousand friends um you know there, there's a lot of us that, you know that's going to give uh, okay so that's my that's my hope today and i hope this is reaching the people it needs to reach and the, i hope that if you're if you are struggling with something in your life that you look at this uh, video that you look at the all these videos that we're doing today uh, this is a 24-hour deal. There's a lot of Facebook lives going to be happening today. I hope we don't break it. I hope we don't break Facebook today. Um, but um, some of us are good have are good on video. Some of us have been doing video for a long time. Some of these guys, I think this is their first or second time doing a live. So I'm very happy and impressed to see this because you're not only taking time out of your day to help somebody else, you're learning how to do something new in the process. Okay, so this is something that I'm very thankful for. I'm, I'm very proud to be a part of it, especially uh, because they're friends of mine, but also because it's the Lord's Day, and um, I'm going to church here soon, so um, I can go and pray for them as well. I'm praying here. I've been praying for a few days now. Once I found out what was going on, and I know my wife and my family are the same. Um, so as you go out today, think about them. Keep them in your minds, your thoughts, your prayers. If you can't give, if, you, if you're to the point where you're strapped and you can't give to help them out, pray. Pray. Um, uh, especially if you're a believer. I mean, you definitely, you def, this is definitely worth the uh, extra prayer today. Um, sometimes we get caught up, and I'm guilty of it, of praying for me, myself, my family, and I do that. But sometimes when you know there's somebody hurting and there's somebody that may be struggling with something, and the only thing you can do is pray, especially when you're not right next to them. It's hard to talk to people that you don't see on a regular basis, face to face. So think about that today because God hears our prayers, okay? Obviously, the better we are in the Lord. Uh, Ken, I'm in Enterprise, Alabama. The, the better we are with the Lord, the more obedient we are with the Lord, um, the, the, the more righteous and holy we become, uh, the better off we are to have our prayers answered. Um, because like I said, God's will has to be done because we don't know what's good for us in most cases. We always assume what we want is the best thing for us. And that's not always the case, which is why sometimes when you do something, it doesn't work out because the Lord knows, especially if you're a believer that this is not the best thing for you. Okay. Sometimes it's not good to have a bunch of money, you know, sometimes exactly Clayton, sometimes it's not good to get what you want. Why? Because God knows that's not what you need, okay? Um, you know, I'm going to read, uh, read one more verse, and, um, you know, I'm going to finish up this word, this verse. 
Um, he knows you need all things, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Seek salvation. Seek his face. Lord, I pray today that you do that, that you um, help somebody in need. Okay, and I'm going to pray here at the end. But um, I hope this has helped somebody. I hope that whoever watches this, www.fightwithmichelle.com, donate, join the cause. I know there's a lot of people out there hurting. I know that. But this is a way for the community of, of auto sales personnel, people that are connected to the auto industry, maybe through friends, family, to help somebody, help one of our own that does, doesn't necessarily sell cars, but is part of the industry. And we've come to know and love this family. Chad, Morgan, Michelle, listen, I love you guys. And um, um, I'm not afraid to say it. And um, I do appreciate everything that you do for most of us that, that know you. And for even people that you don't know, this is a way for us to help them back. This is a way for, they haven't asked for this, by the way. This is not something they asked for, but it's obvious that it, this troubling them because of some of the things, the financial burdens that they're having to go through. And I can't imagine, I know when Michelle first found out and she did her video, it was heart-wrenching to watch her talk about it. But then for her to say that she hasn't told her boys yet and then she finally tells them, you know, that's something in my mind, it's hard for me to, to really fathom uh, what what's going through their minds. Um, so I, I pray that you keep them in your prayers, your thoughts. Um, like I said, reach out to her. I tag, hopefully I tagged her in my description, Michelle Shree, S-R-I. That's not her full name, I don't think, but that's how it's listed on Facebook. So if you reach out to her messenger, you know, Chad Morgan, uh, with quick page he's um, um, like I said become good friends of ours and mine through social media and uh, I'm gonna end this in a prayer I appreciate all you guys tuning in sharing donate whatever y'all done just being here is supportive for me and uh, I thank you so let me end this in prayer and let me, hold on a second all right that's one last one from Michelle it's getting cold so I'm not an iced coffee drinker all right so if y'all would even if you're not a believer right now Pray with me right now. Listen to the words I'm saying. And I pray that uh, you are touched by this, that you can help. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to come together as a, as a, a group, a community of people, Lord, that's, that's trying to help a family, help an individual that's suffering with a dreaded disease, Lord. We don't know why she has it, Lord, but we pray. We pray that your will be done in her life that your glory be shown through this opportunity, Lord, through this disease, that if it's in your will, you let her body be healed, Lord, that you let her, her family be strengthened and encouraged through this, Lord, that you possibly may bring somebody to you in a saving faith through the name of through Lord Jesus Christ, with repentance of sin, Lord, that we all would grow in righteousness and holiness, Lord. Lord, help us all, Lord, to be encouraging to them. Help us all be able to give, Lord, and those that's out there that's, that's teetering with not giving i pray lord that just a dollar two dollars or five dollars lord would be something that they can come up with lord to donate to this great cause we thank you for this opportunity lord it's all because of you it's all for your glory in jesus holy and precious name i pray amen thank you guys that's the end of my time check out lisa copeland she's a great speaker i promise you you won't be disappointed by going and listening to her um I've, I've listened to her speak on a number of occasions. She knows what she's doing on video, too. So check her out. Lisa Copeland, right now, 9 a.m. Central Time, 10 a.m. Eastern. Y'all have a great day. Fightformichelle.com. Fightwithmichelle.com. Peace.